What's up, everybody? How are we doing tonight, folks? You guys are all doing quite well. All right, a quick FYI, guys. We got two breaks filled, the Synergy and the Signature. Uh, so those breaks are going to go obviously first. Um, and let's get a whole bunch of the other stuff rolling. That would be phenomenal. Infinity's at five. The Series 2 Retail's at five. The Platinum is close. Credentials 11. The 11 box mix is 12. I will get the signature series uh, done shortly. That will be the first one. Then uh, we can get the other ones. Six thirty one, here we go. Twenty one thousand six hundred and thirty one, three times one, two, and a three. One, two, three. Zoop. There she goes. Let's see. is about to start ladies and gentlemen best of luck two cards last name first letter nice and simple here we go 21,631 signature series well first one's gonna be a random Yep. 
so messy. A one of one dual autograph between Del Vecchio and Olman. So the D and the U. One of one. That is sexy. Uno of uno. See what box number two, maybe hopefully not a random, but we'll find out. The pack is pretty tight in there. We've got a one of one, Patrick Laleem. One of one, Patrick Lalim. All right, let me get the random ready for the D and the U. And good luck three times. One, two, three, the D, Del Vecchio. Beat. Del Vecchio. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So the next up will be 611. Synergy. Let me get that one rolling. Six eleven. Best of luck. Twenty one thousand six eleven. Three times. One, two, and three. One, two, three. Make sure I'm turned around. I am. And then we will start the synergy. Good luck, everyone. Twenty one thousand six hundred and eleven. All right, let's crush this one. Let's crush it. We've got a red base of Quinn Hughes for Vancouver. Let me just get this in there. We got a 449 Suzuki FX for Montreal. And a star of the show, Vasilevsky for Tampa. A red for the Sharks of Brent Burns. Autograph of 
Pinto for Ottawa. Shane Pinto. And a rookie journey to 799 of Cole Caulfield. 799. We've got a rookie for the Wild of Beckman. We got a nine. 899, 899 Pinto Futures for Ottawa. And a duo's a 999 for the Canes of Sveshnikov and Aho. We've got for the Islanders a LaFontaine. We got a 199 stars of Kucherov for Tampa. Kucherov. And a brilliant postseason for Montreal Suzuki. Red for the Blues of Ryan O'Reilly. 749 for the Avalanche of McKinnon. And a star of the show of Dre Seidel for the Oilers. Rookie Red of Drysdale for Anaheim. 749 FX of Protas for the Caps. And we got a brilliance of Bailey for the Islanders. We got a base red of Suzuki for Montreal. We've got a 99 to bring at Phenoms for Chicago. And we got a duo's to 899 Stamkos Le Cavalier for Tampa Bay. We got a red Steve Eiserman. Red Wings. 899 JT Miller for Vancouver. And a roaring 20s of Kachuk for Ottawa. All right, box number two. We've got a red base of McDavid for the Oilers. 199 Ovechkin for the Stars. Or for the Caps, sorry. Exceptional stars, Ovechkin for the Caps. And a star of the show, Crosby. Sydney Crosby. We've got for Tampa, Vasilevsky. Red. We've got a 275 FX, Colin for Seattle. We've got a Roaring 20s for Dallas of Robertson. We've got a Zgris for Anaheim, red rookie. We've got a 499, Phenoms of Pedersen for Vancouver. And we got a 999, Stamkos Kucherov duos for Tampa. We got a Lynn for Seattle, rookie red. We've got an 899 Futures of Jarvis for Carolina. And we got a brilliant postseason of Barzol for the Islanders. Red of Fleury for the Hawks. Mark Andre Fleury. 899 Zuccarello for Minnesota. And we got a 249 Journey of McTavish. For the Ducks. We got a Tampa Bay Lightning, Le Cavalier. Red. Ooh, nice. 99 rookie auto for Minnesota. Backman. Rookie auto, Backman. 
and a duos Ovechkin Backstrom to 499 for the Capitals. For Vegas, Mark Stone. Red. FX Leon Dre Seidel. Oilers. 749. Star of the show, Barkov. We've got a rookie journey of Barry Boulay, Tampa Bay. FX 749 of Lundell for Florida. And we got a roaring 20s of Jack Hughes for the Devils. We got it to Foley for Calgary. Ooh, we've got a red rookie for Nashville, Tanner Janot. Tanner Janot, Nashville. And we got a 99 duos, Ryan O'Reilly and Neighbors for the Blues. Ryan O'Reilly. Red of Spencer Knight for Florida. And we got a 499 Cam York for Philly. Futures. And a Journey, Pod Colson, 999. For Vancouver. Red for the Islanders on Dursley. We got an FX, 749 of Aiken for Boston. And a star of the show, Grubauer for Seattle. Red of Matthews for the Maple Leafs. We've got a 99 Phenoms, Matthews for the Maple Leafs. And a Roaring Twenties of Spencer Knight for Florida. We got a Jenner for the Jackets. We've got a 449 Stamkos for Tampa. We've got a Star of the Show Kucherov for Tampa. We've got a Marner for the Maple Leafs. 4.99 Miro Heiskinen for Dallas. Phenoms. And a brilliance of Carey Price for Montreal. Red rookie of Barron for the Avs. We've got a 499 stars of Grubauer for Seattle. And we got a 499 Turcotte for LA. And last but hopefully not least, Red Rookie of Lysician for Vegas. We got a 449 of Yannick FX for the Coyotes. And we got a Roaring Twenties of Zegris for the Ducks. There she goes. As always, solid break. All right. Let's keep it rolling, guys. And by the way, the infinity is down to four left. So if anyone wants to get that going, how about this, guys? Just because I want to get breaks going and I want to have a, a you know a fun day with all you guys, 
we get that filled in the next 15 minutes, I'll add two overtime packs as a giveaway. So two people will get an overtime pack. So let me know if we want to get that one going. There's only four. So there's only only three now. Again, might as well uh, take advantage of the extra stuff, guys. Three spots left, $39. And then after that break, I will attack more other breaks. So I'll be back. So, okay, so another infinity is gone. Retail spot is gone. Infinity is down to two. So do you guys want to take advantage of the deal? Should be good to go. I'm going to grab the box. I think there's the infinities here. We did not. Anna, can you grab me two infinities? Obviously. Oh. And then whenever we have time, no rush. The 16, 17, 32 retail has in the box. Yeah. like another one is gone. Right there. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. So only a couple left in the infinity. Two left to be exact. And again, as stated, there will be a bonus if it gets filled. I'm doing my best to give you guys extras one by one. So all we need is two more spots to get two overtime packs in the next, I can't remember if I said 10 or 15, but we'll say it's 15. So you guys got about like 12 minutes left. And you know what, I'll also offer that for uh, six to nine, the retail, why not? I will do both those. If they fill by 535, we'll have two overtime packs as a giveaway to the top two people in the random, just to be clear. So, there you go. But again, guys, after the 10 minutes, so after 5.35, that deal goes away. This is literally because I just wanna keep filling breaks for you guys. That is the whole point of doing this. So two left and five left. So we can uh, crush out two breaks pretty quickly. Two left, five left. Two bonus packs available in each one. Should not be that hard to get, but hey, you never know.
Infinity definitely should not be a problem. So there you go, Infinity is down to one left. to go in the infinity. So the next person who takes that spot, it is good for you guys. Also, six to nine guys, as I said, only five left in that one. Definitely think we can get that one going too. I'm trying to offer some fun stuff for you guys. We still have seven minutes to get one or both of those going. So, decent amount of time. So I believe infinity is good. So there you go, congrats. Let's work on the other one, guys. Might as well uh, keep it going. Might as well keep it going. So there we go, the retail is the only one up there with about six minutes left on that deal. You know what I'll also do, guys? It's one of the cheaper ones. I'll do it for Platinum as well, 606. So I'm going to extend that for Platinum because that's also only $19. And I think that's a very, uh, honestly, affordable one where I think a lot of people can take two spots in. And uh, it's a break that I think is very, very solid value or can be very, very solid value. Six two seven three times one two three. One two three. Infinity. By the way, this batch is getting close to done on the infinity. So uh, I am slowly but surely getting another batch ready, which is going to have a whole bunch of new high end stuff in there. So that's going to be exciting. All right, good luck. Here we go.
Here we go, starting off CNC break, number 21,627, Infinity, two box break. Start off with a clear cut base for the Vegas Golden Knight, William Carlson. William Carlson. We've got number to 36, showcase red glow jersey, Glenn Murray for Boston. Number to 36. We've got number to 125, Ultimate Access Jersey Auto, Miro Heiskanen. Ultimate Access Jersey Auto to 125, Miro Heiskanen. Oh, that's sick. And numbered three of three, Game Gear Quad Mem for the Oilers, Jordan Eberle. Three of three, Jordan Eberle. That's cool. Very nice. All right. We've got a superstar showcase, Austin Matthews for the Maple Leafs. Austin Matthews. We've got a 499 Team Canada. Bobby Clark, so I'd go to Philly. Bobby Clark. We've got a red prism number to 199. Tyler Johnson for Tampa. Tyler Johnson. And we've got a lustrous rookies patch auto to 125 of Liam Foodie. There we go. Anna, Anna. Okay, dokey. Well, Platinum had a couple spots taken, ladies and gentlemen, so let's keep that one going. Anyone else? So I will give you guys till 50 after. So it's 35 after, so I'll give you guys till 50 after. So again, so I will also extend the retail till 50 after, guys. So five left, 13 left. You got three of eight, not bad, wow, good for you. 
Three of the eight. Did you get one of the big ones or? Pretty sweet though, congrats. All right. So again, guys, five left and 13 left. We can just get a bit of a run on uh, on these items. That would be great. The retail is the closest one again, guys. The Aberly, nice. I I'm gonna call you Lisa unless you tell me otherwise. By the way, just so you know. Normally, I always call when I see the name. So if that's not you, maybe let me know so I just have a different name because. I know I've seen you post a few times, and I just don't want to call you by the wrong name. Michael, that is correct. 66 and keep scoring. I honestly, again, I know we've talked about this several times. I feel like he's got to get a multi-goal game the next game in order for Keefe to maybe not sit him. He is too close. If he just scores another one and then one more, it's like, oh, man. That sucks. All right, well, Trilogy's got a couple spots going. I don't know why that platinum is not just flying at this point. And their retail guys, there can be a Matthews. Name is Gord, perfect. I will try to remember that, so I appreciate you letting me know. I remember one time uh, there was someone that had a name. And I kept calling him, it was, it was say it's like Frank or something, right? And literally for like two years, I kept saying like, Frank, Frank, Frank. And to find out after like two years, the person was like, by the way, my name's not actually Frank. I was like, thanks for letting me know for after two years that I've been calling you the wrong name. Now, again, it said Frank on there, so I just figured, but apparently that was a nickname or something. I don't know. Always thought that was kind of funny. But yeah, Mike, I think he needs to get, uh, who are they playing next? New Jersey tomorrow? He needs a multi-goal game, in my opinion. He must get a multi-goal game. Then you're at, what, three games left? 68? How sweet would that be? And the Platinum looks like it's down to 12 now, guys. Patrick would even be better. I feel like that'd be a decent amount of pressure, right? Though, like, if you get a Hattie, you got three games essentially to knock out one goal for sure. Just get four goals, right? That would solve that problem. Everybody wins on that one. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the other thing, Michael. I'm curious to see how much that's going to weigh in to the coaching staff, right? Because I do agree. If, if it comes down to the last two games and they win them both and they get home ice, do you start now, like, really playing those players for that or do you just not care? I am curious to see how much that weighs in on the decision they make. Because realistically, and, and let's presume that we're fast-forwarding to the end game, I think Tampa's the last game. I might be wrong on that. But let's say it is Tampa. Realistically, Tampa might not play anybody the last game, right? Because I don't think they would have anything to play for. Like, literally nothing to play for. I don't think they can move up. They can move down. So at that point, rest all your stars. So that will be interesting to see if uh, if we get essentially a game where they're not playing anyone type thing. Tail looks like it's down to two left if it is uh, getting checked out properly, which is great. Three players over 130 points. That's just nuts, man. It honestly is. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I would have I'm going to look at the standings right now and, the, and um, the points because Kucherov is getting really close. Is he not to the 100 assists now? That is nuts. 130, 137, 139. Jesus. Yeah, 96. So Kucherov should get to the 100 as well. My gosh. And realistically, maybe one more 50 goal score. Potentially on the outside, two. So if we get two more, that's six. Not too bad. I don't know how many games Rangers and Boston have left. But they would need, what, three goals and four goals? Doable. Not easy, but doable. So, by the way, 629, if all the checkouts are happening, I believe it's down to one or two left. There is one spot EMT that I'm probably going to have to cancel, but that's okay. That's not too bad. So, it's only one or two left. By the way, the Platinum again, guys, $19 would be one of the best value ones in my opinion to get uh the extra overtime packs and you're generally not getting shut out in platinum it's it's pretty safe and a 19 dollar break is pretty affordable nowadays and again i hope you guys realize when you're looking at these break values you're not going to get many more breaks in the next six months if you guys want any of the Bedard products in there for anywhere close like those 20 and under breaks or even 30 and under breaks will pretty much be reserved for probably the older stuff and eventually the older stuff's going to dry up and I'm not expecting a major boom guys but I will tell you my honest belief I think there's going to be a slight uptick in 22-23 products as well as, as uh, Slavkovsky keeps doing what he's doing. He looks like next year 
He could have a serious breakout year. So I would not be surprised if this 22-23 stuff starts becoming a little heavier. Because I'll be honest, the way he's playing the last at least 30 games, I feel like he very well could have a Jack Hughes type of year next year where it's his official breakout year. I could argue also right now this year is his breakout year. What, did he get a Hattie last night or the night before? He's doing well, so... And hey, look, Platinum 22-23 has Slavkovsky in there. Throwing that out there, guys. So it looks like uh, we're waiting on a payment for two. And he's in Series 2. Yep. Telling you right now, I do expect a decent uptick over the next little while on 22-23 stuff because, like, he's looking pretty damn good. Oh, that's a failed payment. Okay, so I will cancel that. Series one on sale, yeah. Well, you're gonna find, honestly, uh, Michael, you're gonna find a lot of stores doing a lot of different sales depending on what stock they have and what they need to do to kind of survive, per se, right now. So you you will see over the next, in my honest opinion, five, six, seven months, especially over the summer, there's gonna be a lot of unique sales on these, uh, on a lot of stores. Like, more so on the stores that need to do it, right? So it looks like two left, by the way, guys, and you have a minute left, but I will extend that for a couple more minutes if you guys are able to get it going. I have no problems helping you guys if you want to help get these breaks going. Uh, I'm trying to remember, are you talking about Series 1 or Series 2? Yeah, gold and that, again, that goes to show you how funny it is. I don't know why that got zero takers, but hey. Whatever, we're going to use those four boxes and different breaks over a course of uh, the next few breaks. So I can't really. I did my best to post it up there, and apparently nobody likes it. So whatever, we'll find out over the next. Do I still have them here? I do. So I'm going to chip away at those ones and breaks. Don't know why they didn't go, to be honest, but all I can do is uh, do my best to post them and try. So. I was surprised as well. Again, I, I'm I'm 70-30 right now. 30% that we did get the case at 70 that we didn't. But hell, for just a four box break, I figured it'd be worth a shot. But the other one, Golden, I don't know if it's like maybe the picture doesn't illustrate it. This break versus break is an absolutely stupid deal. Somebody is going to win a $500 Bedard Black Diamond box and the break is only $39. And even if you don't get the box, it's still a seven box break for $39. Uh, Gord, it was two overtime packs and it went to the top two people, which was David Button and Flash Gordon. So those are the two that got the overtime packs. Yeah, like, it, I don't know, maybe the picture doesn't illustrate the breaks or enough, but, like, it's a seven-box break for $39, a fun break versus break, and somebody absolutely will walk away 
with a black diamond box. So not only is a seven box break, it's also literally a diamond box giveaway. I kind of surprised, but by the way, guys, one more minute. If we have only two spots to go in this one, if they do not get filled in the next minute, I have now extended this for several minutes. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping it uh, gets filled and you guys get the extra two overtime packs. If not, no big deal. Okay, so you're, did I say flash Gordon? Or did I say flush? Did I say it wrong? But either way, congrats, that's amazing. Uh, Michael, yeah, so I was gonna post some randoms. There will absolutely be some randoms, that's simple, five boxers. I am debating about doing a team select, but the downside to this one, and I know we had this conversation about Series 2, Michael, is there's no guarantees as any Bedards in the case. So I don't know if I wanted to flat out price Chicago or Chicago, and that's what it is, or do the, oh, I'll random off the Bedards, because the problem in this one, as I said, and normally in a Series 2, I know it's not 100% a guarantee, but theoretically you should get one young gun for sure, right? The problem is in Black Diamond, you might not get any. So I don't know if that's a smarter approach to go or not, to be completely candid, but. So guys, two left. Does anyone want to jump on those last two? If anyone does, the bonus. If not, it's going to go a bit later, I'm sure, or even tomorrow and no extra bonus. Why not jump on the extra bonuses now? To me, it just makes logical sense. What's your thoughts on that, Michael? I'm curious. And of course, anyone else can answer that. Oh, and Golden, I have uh, another fear that I had uh, added to the pile. It's a bigger one. I think probably the biggest one of the bunch. It was a... I believe it was in 21-22. An exclusive out of 65 auto of Grand Fear. So if you also want to... Uh, that if you need that one, let me know. I can give you kind of a combo deal on all of it. But we just got that one in a couple days ago. There we go. Michael has earned you guys that extra, so you guys should be thanking him. Because if he didn't take those last two, you guys may have lost out. So again. Top two people in the random will get it. Yeah, I agree with that, Michael. I think that's the route we're going to go because I think it's only like, don't quote me on the price, between like 90 bucks and 95 somewhere around there. I think that's the better of the two routes to go. Because like team select, realistically, Chicago would have to be between the five to seven hundred to make it feasible. And you guys know my thoughts. I don't like just posting pricing just for the sake of it. If unless I can, unless I can find a way to not go that route, I know sometimes it's impossible to not do that. But Black Diamond Gord, as long as everything's on schedule, should be next week on Wednesday. So here we go guys, good luck. 21,629, three times, one, two, three. One, two, three.
good look. Everybody. Yeah, so as far as I know, and again, the uh, until we get a checklist. Now, for anyone who's wondering, by the way, I'm going to show you this. Uh, Gord, and of course, everyone else who's listening or is new. I'm going to show you a feature that is really cool. I like to do this once in a while, but just give me a couple seconds, guys. So if you look at the screen right now, you'll see we have a checklist section up here. Okay? Anything that we launch here, whenever we get the checklist from Upper Deck, so right there, as you guys can see, anything that gets launched here, you know it's going to be coming out in one to two weeks. So if you see something new come up here, you are one or two weeks away from it actually getting launched. The other thing is, here's our checklist section. Just say you have a Black Diamond, we give you a rundown here. If you want to see how many Bedards are in there, you type that, press enter. You can see right here there is 63 different Bedards in the, uh, in the uh, ex uh, Exquisite and Black Diamond. Now, let's say you don't care about Bedards and you want to see how many Maple Leafs there are. You can see right there, there's 151 Maple Leaf cards. So you can sort it by the set, by the team. You can also do, I want to see how many Maple Leafs have single diamonds. Oh, there's none. How many have doubles? There's one. It's Bobby McMahon has a double diamond. Um, let's say you want to collect Bedard and McDavid. You do a comma, it'll split both of them up. There's Bedard. 63, McDavid, 40. And obviously, if you don't want to do that, you can just literally scroll down on these, drop down, here is all the items. So hopefully that helps you guys out. For anyone who didn't know about that, because uh, I would, as I always have, I will argue that our checklist is one of the most best, easiest featured out there. But to answer Gord's question, guys, whenever you go to the checklist section, the way it always has worked is when we get the checklist from Upper Deck, we post it the exact same day. And why that's important is that gives us the indication it is one to two weeks out. So to give you guys another example is you can see the Bedard collection checklist is not up there. It is currently scheduled for the Wednesday after Black Diamond, but we still have not got it yet. So if you do not see it by next Wednesday, if you want my honest guess, it won't come out that when, uh, the Wednesday after. So I expect to get that checklist between essentially you know this week and next Wednesday, and that's how you'll know if it's gonna come out within a week or two. They always do that, it's always within two weeks. Once we get the checklist, we know something's live within two weeks. Sadly, sometimes it's been one, sometimes it's two. We just don't know which one it is yet. All right, good luck. Here we go, starting off CNC break, number 21,629. We got the retail. But yeah, Mike, it's a very cool feature. As I said, I, I think, uh, I know I'm obviously very biased, but I think it's one of those like hidden gems in our hobby that a lot of people don't know about, and I guarantee you would make their lives so much more easier <laughs> on checklists and stuff like that going forward, right? Canvas for Calgary of Giordano. Like the amount of people I think that could actually help out on searching and stuff. Young Gun of Jamal Smith for Dallas. Because, again, I am a collector still, and I knew it was always a pain to, to find the cards I wanted to look, go after. Rookie Portrait of Lindgren for Montreal. And this one was uh, built by my annoyances that I did not like. So I found everything that I annoyed and uh, found a way to get it done. Marky Rookie Rainbow for Calgary of Kachuk. That's a decent one. Bruce. Young Guns for Buffalo of Nelson. 
Yeah, eventually the long-term goal is to be able to do a master checklist search. So if you're a player collector, you can get everything. Logan Couture Canvas for the Sharks. The problem is to build that, it's a very tough one on the system. So we're figuring out alternative ways to get it done. Retro Rookie of Booch Nevich for the Rangers. Retro Rookie. We got a Marky Rookies of Malgan for Florida. Dennis Malgan. Rookie portrait of Kevin LeBanc for San Jose. We've got a canvas of Brian Elliott for Calgary. Yeah, it's, it's the one thing that I always love. Is most people don't even know we have that checklist section. Shane Harper, Young Guns. For Florida. Young Guns for the Maple Leafs of Freddy Gauthier. But you can see if you're a Bedard collector this year, just how hard it would be to get all the cards. 63 in Black Diamond alone. Marquee Rookies of Schmaltz for the Hawks. 63 in one product. Rookie portraits, Austin Matthews. There you go, Maple Leafs. Rookie portraits, Matthews. Maybe one to get graded. Yeah, put in there. Yes, that's fine. We got for the Coyotes, Dvorak. Marky Rookies. We've got a rainbow for the Devils of Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall. OPG update of Milan Lucic. For the Oilers. Lucic. So all we have left is a good young end now. We got a rookie Matthews insert, which is really cool. Now we just need a good that's not a bad one. A young end of Dylan Strom for the Coyotes. Dylan Strom. Canvas for the Caps of Burakovsky. Retro of Lucic for the Oilers. Lucic. Wow. Rookie portraits. Mitch Marner. In terms of the rookie portraits, you banged out the best two. And of course, the last pack is a tough one to open. You know the best young guns? Nope, I was wrong. We've got a young guns of Dominic Simone. There we go. I was really hoping it was gonna be a good young guns, but hey. Not too shabby in terms of the Marner and the Matthews. That was an overall a lukewarm box. Okie dokie. So let's see where the platinum is, guys. Maybe I'll uh, do something funky for you guys on that one. And by the way, again, just in case you guys didn't pay attention to it, but Braun and another Mike are the ones who got the two overtime packs in that one. 
top two people. All right, so platinum, guys. Looks like it's down to eight left. I will give you guys till 20 after to get that one going. Again, keep in mind, guys, it is only $19. I'm going to go fill up my water. I would love to see it go. I don't disagree with you. Looks like the Chancer got some spots taken. Can't be upset about that. What are we at on that one now? So yeah, guys, let me know what uh, what you guys want to get going. Platinum is down to eight. And you know what I'll also do, guys? I'll do the two overtime packs for the uh, Chancer as well. Both are under 10. Both are 15 and $19. Both very affordable. And I would like to see both those go. And the one has a, obviously has a spot Chancer, so that's a good one to go. Another random thing for those who, uh, I always like to mention this, guys. Today is the cutoff for shipping. Wednesdays is the cutoff for shipping. So, for example, if you do not fill that platinum today and it goes tomorrow, you're basically waiting an extra week for shipping. Some people don't really care about that. 
But for some, it might change your opinions. And again, six left, eight left in those two breaks. Two overtime packs, if we can get them filled semi-shortly. So all we need is a bit of a push on them and we should be good. Six and eight. So whatever you guys want to do, I am good with. We can do both of them and you guys get bonus packs. We can do one of them and you guys get bonus packs. We can do none of them and nobody gets bonus packs. More than happy to get it going. Both are under 10. Both are under 20 bucks. Both have a lot of potential to get filled. Fun breaks. Obviously the random is, uh, or the chance is a chancer. Affordable, that's a beautiful thing with that one. $15, pretty, pretty damn good. But I agree, I really like opening Platinum. I think the value is phenomenal in Platinum. Yeah, so Michael, as we said, um, when the, what ends up happening, we're still trying to figure this out in our system. Um, what ends up happening sometimes is when someone tries to check out spots, if it does not go through, sometimes the system reads it that way and leaves them in there. If you know what I mean, so that's why sometimes you see it. By the way, uh, Timothy, I see that you did a checkout on EMT. I'm gonna cancel your spots in the chancer because it looks like we're getting close. Obviously, if you would like them again, just do another checkout. And if you don't mind paying by uh, PayPal, because it looks like yours has been about 20 minutes, if you are even in the room because that one is getting awfully close and I would like to get that one uh, going. So just quick FYI, if you are in the room, sir. So you will notice that uh, Michael on a bunch of them.
Yeah, that's why. So sometimes uh, our system doesn't pick up on that. It's kind of annoying, but the problem is, I know uh, we tried to fix that glitch a while ago, and it ended up breaking a lot more of the things. So we're like, ah, let's not touch that one too much. So we kind of uh, changed it. There was one time where we did that, and it literally was not counting any spots, and we're like, yep. Let's just, uh, the problem is what we have right now, a lot of it's custom. And when you have custom stuff, like one minor change could break the entire site type thing. It's kind of funny. But the good news is it looks like it's getting closer. So there's a few spots left in that one. And then the platinum guys, I want to keep going on the platinum. It's only $19. Let's not stall on platinum. As stated, if one or two of you guys just start taking a couple spots, I'm very confident it'll get it going. Very, very confident they're gonna fly. They're too, uh, they're too affordable at that point, price-wise, not to kind of get going. See, we have a challenge if we can get which one are you talking about just so I know uh, Christy which one are you talking about specifically platinum or series the chancer platinum there you go I always like double checking that just because so there you go if we can get a couple more people taking one or two more spots the uh, last few will be taken. That's a pretty good one. Anybody? Anybody? So, Michael, the Upper Deck promotion, and I just want to be clear on this because I know a lot of stores do different things. The way it works is every store will have their own unique things. All Upper Deck ever specifies, and remember this is American, but all ever um, Upper Deck ever specifies is if you spend $10 on Upper Deck products, and that's why they put the asterisk there, um, you get a Bedard Rookie Moments card. So, what most stores do is they put together packages, that's what we do. Other stores do other things. I cannot comment for them. Some sell the cards. Some, you know, make it that is $25 minimum. We are going to have a $15 pack bundle. $15, $15. I believe we have a $40 higher end pack bundle. And we're doing a box deal and we're doing other stuff. So ours, for example, is going to be $14.99. It's a three pack deal. And it's already pre-done. And you get the Bedard plus you obviously get the National Hockey Card Day pack. Which, there can also be more Bedards in there, so it's a double whammy. Now, the funny thing is, I think that's going to go nuts, because the Bedard cards alone are already selling for like 6 to 10 bucks. So, when you're already getting 6 to $10 for something, that you and you're getting basically three packs, it's like, you're pretty close to getting that those packs for 70% off, roughly. Like, that's a pretty damn good special so yes for us what we're doing specifically um, is 
a $15 pack bundle, a $40 pack bundle, and a, uh, a box deal. So that is the ways you're gonna get them. Uh, it is gourd only in store. What in, so here's the official rules that we're told, okay? We can do anything that we want, as long as it's over $10. And as long as we're not selling the packs or selling the card. That is the technical rules that we were allowed as a store. We're, sorry, not allowed. We're told as a store that we have to do for that week. Now, in previous years, I don't know if it will change, but in previous years, they've asked most of the stores, like obviously the stores who are participating, to not sell the cards for a month after or sell the packs for a month after to still do promotions to get the packs. So obviously for us, we will still probably do that same thing and listen to them. Um, but uh, yeah, so we make a pack bundle. And the other reason why, if anyone just, I always like to explain what we do, is on that day, 94% of the people who walk in literally just come in and be like, how do I get the Bedard? So we try, like I remember the first few years we did this, it was hectic because they wouldn't know what they buy and they would spend like 20 minutes being like, well, what do I got to spend to get it? And so the pack bundle, the second we did that, it just alleviated all that questions. It's like, you buy this, you get that, there you go, you win. Like just, there you go, done. Um, long drive from Yukon. Yeah, but you know what, Gordon, it might be a nice day, right? You know, just four days, I guess. Yeah, it might be worth it. The box deal, Michael, um, we are doing is we have five boxes. Uh, I can't remember exactly which ones they are. They'll be at the front of the store, so you'll see it when you walk in. But basically, uh, it's five boxes. I think they're all around 100 to 150 bucks worth. And you'll get a, an ice pack or a credentials pack for free, plus the Bedard Moments rookie card, which those packs alone, for those wondering, are 20 to 30 bucks each roughly so you're basically getting a 20 to 30 dollar item in the pack for free and a 10 dollar item to 15 dollar item in the rookie for free so not bad overall okay guys so again we still only got a few left in the chancer i will give you guys an extra five minutes for the overtime packs to clear those three out. We need to clear those three out. And stay with the platinum, you guys have five minutes to get that extra two pack deal. So it, it's a good promo, honestly, and with Bedard being the 16th card, I can tell you guys it is, I'm never, I'm not gonna try to, you know, give you guys false hope that that Bedard's gonna be thousands of dollars in the future. But that card literally has a rookie logo on it. says rookie moments. And it is Bedard. You're always going to get 5 to $15 for that card. So if you want my honest opinion, you know, for 15 bucks, capitalize on that. Like, it's just a, it's literally just pretty much free money we're handing you that day. All right, the chancer is filled. So if... Only one of you guys would like to do the same for Platinum. So you guys could capitalize on that deal. That would be phenomenal. Because the more of these breaks we fill, the more fun it is to watch. So here's the other thing. And again, guys, I will give you guys a link uh, in case anyone just wants it. It's on our website, but yet again, there's a link to the chat the section that has National Hockey Card Day. If I remember correctly, I think there is, yeah, there's three Bedards. There's a rookie Bedard in the pack. So there's a rookie moments, which is the, the bonus card, the 31st bonus card, and a victory black rookie of Bedard. So... You can get two Bedards in the products and one on the extra purchase. So even getting the extra pack, you theoretically could walk out with two Bedards, which is pretty damn sweet. All right, give me one second, guys. I'm gonna get the uh, 
Random ready for the six to eight to see who gets the box and the spot. Michael, no, but here's the honest thing. If you want to come in earlier in the day and then come later in the day if we have supplies, I will tell you that is generally one of our busiest through and through days of the year. So it's not necessarily do I not want to make you happy per se. I want to make sure I have stock for everybody. And what you will probably see is that on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you know, the weeks after, if we still have some left, we will keep that deal going as long as we can, obviously. So 21,628, three times, one, two, three. So that's what you could do then. One there, one, two, three. The spot goes to Flush Gordon, and the box goes to Braun. Congrats. Well, there we go. Two of you guys in the room. Well, that worked out. That's what happens when you take the spots. Blamo. But congrats on those. Alright, so let's see how we're doing on the platinum, guys. Where are we? Alright, we're down to six. Can we get a couple more people grabbing some spots? How long until the case breaks? Sorry, of which one? Um, but yeah, so Michael, to answer your question, realistically, I do see us having some leftover packages on uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. So then you can come in again. Maybe I'll, I might limit it to like two or three because realistically, to be completely candid, as I said, you're basically buying a $15 pack bundle to get a 10 to $15 card for free. So it logically makes sense. I just obviously I can't have it where some guy comes in and be like, I'll take 50 of them and clean this out. Oh, uh, Gord, until it fills up, we still got about like 10 to 15 spots. But you can see on the break section, the artifacts case has two of them. Um, the, which other ones do we have that has spot giveaways in there? The, do we have any other ones? Actually, I don't think we do. So yeah. We're gonna keep posting new ones of those. But I can tell you Michael in previous years we've genuinely had people try to do that they'll be like I will take all of like you know if you have 30 pack bundles I'll take them all so I can get all the cards and because they know they can sell those bedards you know maybe at a maybe like their local place or a uh, farmers market type thing for like 20 bucks right they know they'll get 20 bucks for any bedard they put out there So we, we've had, as I said, we've had people who have actually tried to do that. So on this one, specifically because it is Bedard, I probably will limit it to like three or four after release day, to be clear. Because I just don't want someone trying to grab every Bedard card and just take, you know, I want to I spread the wealth. So guys, you guys got the platinum filled, so I appreciate that. Out of curiosity, I'm going to throw this out there right now. Is there any other break that you guys would like me to focus on to give you guys a bit of a bonus on to aim for after this break? Because we might as well try to get another break filled.
But is there anything else that you guys would like me to... I don't care if it has, you know, credentials that has, what, 11 spots? I don't care if it's a higher-end one. How about this? I will give you guys a really good one. There we go. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this happen for you guys. How about this? It's gonna be lofty. I'm not lying, but it's gonna be lofty. But I think it's well worth it because it's a damn good break. If we can get the Artifact Series Two combo break done by seven o'clock, I will give you guys three black packs in that one. So that is not going to be the overtime ones. That will be the black packs, guys. Three black packs if we get the artifacts and series two. And again, keep in mind that break is an absolute beast as well. So I'm not giving you a junky break to, to, to get the bonuses on. So 21601, you're correct, yes. Three black packs if that gets filled. So I believe that one should get going, but hey. As I always say, all I can do is offer. It's up to you guys to take advantage. So there you go, that is my fun one. A hell of a lot better prize, in my opinion. It looks like it's down to 13 already. So that's solid news. Who else wants to dive into that? And I am still waiting for that last platinum spot, guys, to get checked out officially. Just so you guys are well aware of what I am doing on my end. Looks like uh, it's, it might be timing out, I'm not too sure. I'm going to go grab the Platinum guys because obviously it looks like it will be going. But yeah, I'm expecting, to be honest, a very, very, very busy day, Michael, on Saturday. So uh, it shall be fun, to be honest. I'm absolutely expecting a pretty damn busy day. Pretty much every year it's been uh, arguably our busiest foot traffic day. Just because the amount of kids that walk in... Like, I would say about 60% of them honestly just come in, grab a pack, and walk out. So it's not exactly necessarily like, you know, talking to everyone all day, but it, there is a lot of traffic in and out. Keep it going, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. I think we're good on the platinum now, aren't we? 606. We be good.
And very much thank you guys for getting this one going. I do appreciate all of you guys uh, getting the platinum going. I think it's one of the better value deals in my opinion. So, and especially with guys like Slavkovsky starting to do a lot better. So, good luck again. Top two guys. Here we go. Twenty-one thousand six oh six. Three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. Six oh six. Kuzmenko, yeah, I believe so. Honestly, I will tell you, it's been so tough over the last uh, year or so to remember what rookies are in which one, because all throughout our history, right, of our thirteen years opening a store, it's been very simple. Here's the rookie crop for this year. You get used to it, and then that's it, right? You just keep going. It's like, with them releasing different years, different products, it's like, uh, yeah, this guy's this guy. 21606, two boxes of platinum. It's, uh, it's been a fun adventure to try to remember them all. So, yeah, I... I'm not going to lie, I don't remember who was the Vancouver rookie in 22-23 currently, but... Marky rookies of Pearson for the Wings, Biro for the Sabres, Gooley for Montreal, Sweet Selections for the Ducks of Perot, Rainbow Robertson for the Leafs, and we got for the Islanders, Brock Nelson, Hot Magma. Brock Nelson, Hot Magma. All right, rookies of Clark for L.A., Holmstrom for the Islanders, and Crawl for the Leafs. Photo driven of Flurry for the Wild, Retro of Cousins for Buffalo, Troy Terry Pink for Anaheim. Rookies of DeSimone for Calgary, Carlstrom for Dallas, Foodie for the Avs, Photo driven Barkoff for Florida, Rainbow with Jamie Ben for Dallas, and a blue. Tracks retro to one ninety nine for Vancouver of Patterson. Patterson blue tracks retro. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we got a rookie of McLaughlin for Boston, Bjork for the Blue Jackets, Fix Wolanski for the Blue Jackets, Rainbow Retro rookie. Of Rossi for the Wild, Tracy Sweet Selections for the Ducks, and a retro of Burns for the Canes. We had an extra insert in that one, I believe. Rookies of Wells for the Hawks, Kuzmenko, there we go, for Vancouver. Galvanized Makar for the Avs. We got a Robertson OPG Premier for Dallas. 
Rainbow of Anderson from Montreal. And we've got a Marky Rookie Seismic Gold of Tracy for the Ducks. The only thing I think they missed on this one was the gold. It does not look very gold to me. It's the only thing I will say. I wish they would have made those a little nicer looking. We got a Marky Rookie of Hayes for Vancouver. Regenda for the Ducks. Kochetkov for the Canes. Photo Driven. For the Capitals of Ovi, Rainbow of Bunting for the Maple Leafs, and a Rookie Auto, Violet Pixels to 99 uh, of Korzak for Vegas. It is, it's very mustard, yeah. It's not very gold. It's the only color I think they missed on. The rest I think they did pretty sweet on, but that was the only one that kind of. Marky Rookies of Schneider for the Rangers, Ratty for the Islanders, Alexandrov for the Blues, Galvanized of Aho for the Canes, Marky Rookie Rainbow of Bobby Brink for Philly, and a Violet Pixels of Gerard for the Avs. Avalanche, Violet Pixels. Marky Rookies, Sanderson for Ottawa, Harris for Montreal, Kopke for Tampa, Photo driven of Shesterkin for the Rangers. Rainbow rookie of Vlasic for the Hawks. Marky rookie. Uh, liquid metal of Hunter Drew to 349 for the Ducks. Golden, did you really get Montreal? That is amazing. Good luck, sir. Good luck. Marky Rookies of Gunther for the Coyotes, Fajimo for LA, Boldy for Minnesota, Photo Driven McDavid for the Oilers. We got a Retro Rookie of Soderblom for the Wings, Marky Rookie Sunset of Tracy for the Ducks, and a Liquid Metal for Dallas of Sagan. Tyler Sagan, 349. We got a Marky Rookie of Mayer for the Jackets, Hollander for the Penguins, Sogard for the Oilers, or sorry, for the Sens, Sweet Selection Shane Wright for Seattle, Retro of Merz Lickens for the Jackets, Sunset of Dano for LA. Marky Rookies of Pashal for Vegas, Mayers for the Avs, Eismont for Winnipeg, Kent Johnson galvanized for the Jackets, McKinnon Retro for the Avs, and a sunset of Morazic for the Hawks. Marky rookies of Parsonen for Nashville, Poulin for Pittsburgh, Kovacevic for Montreal, photo driven of Marshawn for Boston, retro rookie of Gunther for the Coyotes, and a crawl pink for the Maple Leafs. I love the uh, design of the pink though. Like it makes the card look so steely. I like it a lot. Rookies of Hamblin for the Oilers, Castellich for the Sens, Holmberg for the Leafs, Photo Driven, Carey Price for Montreal, Rainbow of Tara Vinen for Carolina, and a Retro Blue Tracks of Marshawn for Boston. Marky Rookie of Roos for Chicago, Yurisich for the Jackets. Uh, Berggren for the Red Wings, Kent Johnson for the Jackets, Rainbow of Wheeler for the Jets, and a Red Prism 199, Jonathan Taves for the Hawks. Jonathan Taves. We've got a Marky Rookie of Johansson for Washington, Hodgson for the Flyers, Kolya Chonik for the Coyotes. Sweet uh, selections of Quinn for Buffalo, Hagel for Tampa, and a pink of Rupe Hints 
for the Dallas Stars. Marquee rookies of Rossi for Minnesota, Reinhardt for Ottawa, Bordello for the Sharks, Rainbow Retro of Swayman for Boston, Photo Driven of Hedman for Tampa, and a Retro of the Capitals, Alex Ovechkin. Rookie the Perot for the Ducks, Blumel for Dallas, Bitten for the Blues, Bunting Galvanized for the Leafs, Rainbow of Sveshnikov for Carolina, Sunset for the Avalanche, Miko Rontanen. Marky, rookie of McBain for the Coyotes, Raska for the Sharks, Malott for Winnipeg, Galvanize of Schneider for the Rangers, Rainbow, rookie of Reichel for the Hawks, and a Violet Pixels of Claude Giroux to $2.99 for Ottawa. Rookies of Leku for Boston, Shane Wright for Seattle, Holloway for the Oilers, Sweet Selections for the Sharks of Bordello, Marky Rookie Rainbow of Soderblom for the Wings, and a Marky Rookie Violet Pixels of Jordan Harris for Montreal. A different colored Violet Pixel, apparently. I never understood why they did that, but... Jordan Harris, Montreal, Violet Pixels. We've got a Marky Rookie of Bureau for Buffalo, Tucker for the Blues, Pearson for the Wings, Photo Driven Shane Wright for Seattle, Rainbow of Kopitar for LA, and a Rookie Otto McBain for the Coyotes. Rookie Otto McBain. Marky Rookies of Spence for LA, Okachuk for the Devils, Smith for the Coyotes, Sweet Selections of Sogard for Ottawa, Retro Rookie of Dostal for the Ducks, Marky Rookie Sunset for the Caps of Johansson. Marky Rookie of Abru's EC for the Leafs, Galvis for the Hawks, Photo Driven of Zegris for the Ducks, Retro Huberto for Calgary, we got a Besser Sunset for Vancouver, and a Leku for Boston to $4.99. Hot Magma. Marky Rookies of Mulverar for LA, Chaffee for Minnesota, Korzak for Vegas, Galvanize Swayman for Boston, Retro of Carey Price for Montreal, Sunset Johnny Goudreau for the Blue Jackets. Rookies of Olsen for the Avs, Kate for the Flyers, Tracy for the Ducks, Photo Driven of Power for Buffalo, Bergeron Retro for the Red Wings, and a pink of McLaughlin for Boston. There she goes. Yet another break is done. Zoop. Alrighty then. Is there anything else even close? Is there anything else even close? I don't think so. All right, guys, I don't think there's anything else even remotely close, so I'll kind of call that an evening for now. Um, with that being said, there will be more breaks, as always, going up very shortly, so pay attention to the website. I do appreciate you guys uh, joining in on this. Have yourselves a beautiful rest of the evening, and we will see you guys tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. Have a good one, everyone. Keep well, keep warm. See you guys then.